Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite productivity apps of all time, Notion. They are the sponsor of this video, but I've been using Notion for a long time, way before they ever reached out to me, and it's literally changed the way that I organize my personal life and my work life, so I wanted to share that with you guys. I pretty much used Notion to power my entire workflow, and it was part of the reason I was able to balance a full-time job in management consulting with a part-time job working at a startup, and also making these YouTube videos on the side. So in this video, I'll be going over what Notion is and why you should be using it, as well as show you how I use Notion to power my entire workflow from my full-time startup job to personal projects to managing this YouTube channel. And if you don't use Notion yet or haven't heard of it before, I promise it's really simple to use. And if you stick through this video, you'll wanna give it a try, so be sure to sign up using the link in the description below. If you guys are new here, my name is Aaron, and I graduated from the University of Toronto last year with a business degree in finance and economics. After graduating, I worked in management consulting for a few months before quitting to join a crypto gaming startup full time. So if you want to see more content related to my career journey, productivity and other fun topics, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and I'm really excited to share more of my journey with you guys. Okay, so if you're not familiar with Notion, it's an all in one note taking and project management app that can be used for organizing pretty much anything in your life. That sounds abstract, but it's a bit hard to explain because Notion can be used for literally everything from taking notes as a student to creating a personal shopping list to running the operations of an entire company. Basically, you can think of Notion as a combination of Google Docs and Microsoft OneNote pages with the ability to customize them a lot more and to organize them in any way you like. But let me quickly show you what that looks like. Okay, so Notion is built from pages and basically when you start out, you have this blank page that's like a canvas to put whatever you want to put on it. You can add text by typing directly or insert other things by typing backslash to create these things called blocks. Blocks can be anything from text to images to tables or even embedded files. And they make formatting and customizing things in Notion so easy and intuitive because you can just drag and drop these blocks around. Okay, so let's say I'm creating a page to organize my notes in college. So I'm just gonna rename this college homepage and then quickly add an icon here and then we'll add a cover art. I'm just gonna search for, uh, oh, we can use one of these actually. So I have a blank page here, but it already looks pretty good. I love how Notion is just really fun to use and makes everything look aesthetic and organized without much effort because that just encourages me to use the app even more. But let's build this out a little bit more. So let's say I add a heading here um, for class notes and then I wanna organize my class notes by the different classes I have. So I can just create a block that's going to be a separate page. And basically now I can have like my first class, let's say is accounting. Again, I'll add a icon and then maybe something in the cover. Let's just go accounting. And then within this accounting page, I can do whatever I want. I can start typing up notes directly related to accounting, or I can add even more sub pages to split it up by topics or lectures or chapters within a textbook. You can also add other elements here like images or embedded files, tables, basically anything you can think of. Hopefully you're able to see how some of these basic features in Notion work here. One of the main things that I love about this app is just how flexible it is in terms of structure. You're also not forced to organize things in any one single way. So for example, when I was using OneNote as a student, I had to organize my notes by notebooks. And then within notebooks, you could have tabs and then pages, but then that was pretty much it. With Notion though, you can make a main homepage and then connect to it as many other pages as you want and build it out into whatever structure makes the most sense to you. And as you get more familiar with the app, you can customize pages to do things way beyond what a regular note-taking app like OneNote or Evernote can do. It can be a bit overwhelming, so Notion provides all of these free templates here on the left that you can use and customize however you like. So as you can see, there are so many templates for any use case, from organizing your class notes as a student, to creating an engineering roadmap, to just a simple habit tracker for personal use. Basically, you can make whatever you want with Notion, and these templates are just here for your inspiration or for you to use as a starting point to customize how you want your productivity system and organizational system to look like. Oh, and Notion is completely free for personal use and available across all platforms. I prefer to use my laptop because I type the fastest on it, but you can also access it from your phone or any web browser, and all of your content syncs really nicely across all devices. All right, now moving on to how I personally use Notion. When I first tried Notion as a student, probably like two to three years ago, I didn't really get into it because there was just so much it could do and I wasn't really sure where to start. Now that I'm more familiar with Notion, I use it as the central place where I keep track of almost everything in my day-to-day -day life that I need to remember 
and it's particularly helpful for three main things. Number one is being the single place where I can keep track of all of my work and my personal projects. Number two is giving me an easy and accessible way to capture ideas and take notes. And number three is having an actionable to-do list that I can work through every day. Before Notion, it was really hard for me to keep track of everything that was going on and everything that I was working on because I would be using OneNote for schoolwork and personal projects, Apple Notes for quick thoughts and ideas that I had, and then the Reminders app for my running to-do list. Basically everything was all over the place and I was spending so much time trying to figure out how to keep up with the system than actually getting things done. Since switching to Notion though, I've been able to keep track of all of this plus a lot more with just one app. Let me show you how I organize my personal homepage on Notion. So this is my homepage on Notion and I customize it to have pretty much everything I need right now while remaining relatively simple compared to a lot of other people's homepages. I've seen some pretty complicated and cool looking homepages on Notion, but I like to keep mine pretty simple as long as it gets the job done and looks clean. So I have this cute little animated coffee here and a little bit of greenery in the banner up top. Again, these are just some of the small things that make Notion really fun to use and encourages me to use it more. So I split my homepage up into a few different sections. So I have pages that help me stay productive, content management pages for planning my YouTube videos, and then some other miscellaneous pages that I can add to as I think of more creative ways to use Notion. I'm gonna go into some of these pages and how I use them, but just going underneath first, I have these two to-do lists. Okay, so these are actually called databases, which is another super powerful feature in Notion that we won't have time to go into detail on today. But basically I have these two checklists that are synced to an app called Todoist on my phone. Todoist is just a reminders app. It's pretty similar to Apple Reminders, but it syncs across all of my Windows devices. And it also has some extra features that make it a bit easier to use. But I'm really happy with the system right now. Basically I have a view of my personal and work tasks that I wanna get done all the time. I can easily type here directly on Notion if I want to add a new task or if I'm on my phone and I have a quick thought I can add it to Todoist and it'll sync to these lists. So once I complete something I can check it off my list and either keep it here or drag it into my archived tasks list. But to be honest you don't even need a full-fledged system like this to have an actionable to-do list on Notion. I used to just use a simple checklist like this template here and it works fine as long as you can just cross off tasks while you get them done. And then lastly, underneath, I just have a section for temporary notes or whatever I want to type up, but don't want to save into my Notion. Basically like having one of these memo pads, but in Notion. Okay, so going into some of my productivity pages here, the first one I have is called My Second Brain. My Second Brain is a concept that I learned from Ali Abdal, and there's also a pretty popular book on it. But basically, it's a place where I capture and store ideas, notes, insights, and whatever else I want to remember. I realized I often think of interesting ideas or come across insights when I'm reading a book or watching a video and then not write it down, trust myself to remember it, and then just end up forgetting it a few days later. So yeah, that's why I have this. And this page might look a little bit confusing, but honestly, it's just like having Apple Notes in Notion, but being able to organize the notes by categories or sections. So each of these blocks are individual pages and can really contain anything you would use Apple Notes for. Since creating this page though, I definitely started writing things down a lot more. Whenever I come across inspiration from a book or video or have ideas pop up and I feel like I would wanna remember it for the future, I'll just open Notion and create a new note and write it down here. And I have all my notes here organized by a few different categories that will probably change. But right now I have thoughts and random articles, startup ideas, books, and then an inbox for when I don't know where else to put the notes. Moving on to another page. This is my energy investment portfolio. Sounds funny, but it's also something I picked up from Ali Abdal, and it's basically just a projects list. So I have a bucket list column here where I can add things that I think I eventually want to do, like creating a second YouTube channel or planning a future trip and then an active investment section for things that are currently taking energy for me to keep up with, like learning to read Mandarin every day and then remembering to go to the gym. And once these hopefully become more passive for me and no longer take mental energy to keep up with, like when they become more of a habit, I'll move them into the passive section. And then if it's something temporary like booking a trip, I'll just drag it into the completed section. All right, so I'm not gonna go into my annual goals or my reading list page but moving on to a less productivity focused page in my Notion, a pretty cool one that I recently started is a closet planner slash mood board page. It's still pretty empty, but the idea here was to better plan how I shop for clothes. So at the top, I added a color palette that I made for colors that I wear more often or I try to build my closet around. And then again, I have it organized so clothing pieces that I may or may not want will go into an inbox and then clothes that I'm planning on buying will go into wants, and then clothes that I've already bought or already own 
will be under the owned section. I obviously haven't added everything to this yet, but I like how I can visually see what every piece looks like to make sure that I'm building a closet that sort of matches. And you can also change this into a mood board view by clicking up here, uh, which removes the sections and just gives you a glance of all of your clothes. And then lastly, I have a simple shopping list here for things that I want to buy. Again, organized by a few different categories, um, but it's still pretty new, so relatively empty. Okay, hopefully you're able to see just how customizable Notion is and some of the many ways you can use it to organize different aspects of your personal life. But another huge way I use Notion is for work, both for my full-time startup job and for planning videos on this YouTube channel. So let's jump into some of my YouTube stuff first. This is a very simple and kind of outdated page that I use to plan all of my YouTube content on this channel, from writing down ideas that I have to scripting entire videos. So you can see I have all of the videos I've ever made starting from my fourth video ever here on this Notion page. I actually originally started using Notion to manage this YouTube channel because there was no other tool that I found to be as customizable for project management work. So I mainly use this page for this database here. Whenever I have a new idea, I'll just add a new row and if I want to, I'll tag it with the topic. And then if we open up this page right here, I have a simple scripting template for me to fill out. This view probably isn't the most convenient for organizing multiple videos or tracking a lot of projects at once, but it's been working for me, so I haven't bothered changing it. I am thinking of making a separate YouTube Shorts channel where I'll be posting content more regularly and probably creating stuff in batches. So I have this separate page set up here that I plan on using for tracking content. So as you can see, this page is a bit more organized than the database that I have for my personal channel because I can work on multiple scripts at once using this view and easily see the status of video projects, basically dragging them through as they go through each step to completion. And if you're not a content creator yourself, Notion can still be adapted for so many different functions for work. I talked about templates earlier and even there you can see how Notion can be useful for everything from engineering specs to design roadmaps. In my current full-time startup job, I introduced Notion to the team a few months ago and our company pretty much operates on Notion now. It's honestly such a great collaboration tool though, so let me show you some of the features. So in order to switch accounts, you can just click on the top left here. And as you can see, we already have 57 people in the company using Notion together. And this is what our company homepage looks like. Basically, the Notion home acts as a single source of truth for documenting everything. We started out by using Notion as a company wiki or one place where we could document everything from company goals to policies and resources for the team. But the ways we use Notion as a team have also evolved because everyone just likes using the app and there are so many live collaboration features that make working cross-functionally across different teams super convenient. And I won't click into any of these pages here for privacy reasons, but as you can see on the sidebar, we have separate pages. So each functional team can have their own homepage within our company Notion. And this is just a space for them to organize notes, documents, and anything else. So when other people or other teams need to find something, you don't need to chase down or ask like five different people. You can just go and look through the Notion. Notion is just like a lifesaver for a fully remote startup like ours, where people are working from different locations and different time zones all the time. Our company Notion has basically become like an internal website where we can store everything from meeting notes to project specs and roadmaps, and basically all the customization you get from building your own website without having to actually code and maintain that website. And there are honestly so many more collaboration features and integrations that make Notion more powerful for teams and companies that I won't have time to cover today. But I would really recommend trying out Notion in a team setting, whether it's for something like a school club or a private study group, to even introducing it to your own startup or a company that you work for. But yeah, I've never really been the type of person to organize my schedule to the hour every day or be like a productivity maximalist, but using Notion has definitely made me a lot more organized and efficient in what I do. It's also just freed up so much mental capacity because I don't have to be constantly thinking about or keeping track of a lot of things all of the time. I can just store it into Notion and then I don't really have to think about it. And if Notion still seems overwhelming to you, I would just recommend to try it for yourself and start out with really simple pages or use some of the templates that they provide. The way I use Notion has definitely changed a lot and I know that two years ago when I watched some of these Notion videos, I would also get really confused and overwhelmed. Even today, I'm just scratching the surface of what Notion is capable of. There are so many more ways to use Notion and I'm not close to being an expert myself. So definitely check out other Notion videos on YouTube. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. And if you found this video helpful or enjoyable, be sure to drop a like and let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I'm planning on traveling later this month, so I'll try and film some more interesting content around my career journey and navigating life in my 20s. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.